Hello friends, my name is Sarah. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I have a projects video for you today. I've got a few different things to share with you, but before we get into it, you can find all the links down in the box below. You can find my Instagram, my website, my Ko-Fi in case you want to say thank you and buy me a cup of tea. I'm trying to decide where to start. So I don't have as much as I normally do because I'm recording a little bit closer. I've been kind of doing once a month for a while. I was doing once a week and then I was doing every other week and then I kind of became once a month, which was not intentional. It's just kind of how it has happened. Uh, but I kind of want to start recording a little bit more frequently just because the videos, I feel like I end up feeling really rushed because I have so much content to get through and I don't want the, vid the videos to be like too long. So I end up rushing through stuff, forgetting things. So I just figured I need, I should start recording a little bit more often. So there's less things and I can slow down and feel like I don't need to rush through it. Let me know uh, what you think of that. If you prefer like once a month where I'm just kind of speeding through it real quick, or if you prefer it a little bit slower, a little less content, that sort of thing. Let me know. Before we start, I have to show you my beautiful mug. This is a Pennington Design mug. This was her flock mug, which I don't know if she does at the moment, so don't be mad at me, but she did have a couple of extra on her website the other day. So, Pennington Design Pottery. Go check her out and see. But this, I love this mug so very, very much. It is beautiful and I am very honored to have one. All right, I guess we can just start with what I finished. I have only finished one thing since the last time I recorded. Uh, I finished Lincoln's hat. So this is a hat for my youngest son. It is a two by two rib hat. I didn't really follow a pattern for this. I do have the two by two by Aunt Gannon, but I just kind of, I didn't really follow that. I just kind of cast on however many stitches and realize I did my math wrong and my decreases actually still look okay. Um, but the thing is, I don't know if you can tell or not. I will hold on. Let me, I don't know if you can tell, but some of my decreases, the middle stitch is a stock and neck column. And then there are other spots where it is a pearl column because I miscalculated and my columns ended up, yeah, being alternating knit column, pearl column, knit column, pearl column, which worked out fine. And it's a dark yarn, so you can't really tell. And my child doesn't care either. He was just thrilled to have it. Uh, he took off with it immediately and wore it most of the day yesterday, even though it was pretty warm in the house. Uh, it isn't hair short, but I was running out of steam, to be honest. I really didn't want to knit on this anymore. I don't know why this yarn combination was just not working for me, but it wasn't. I didn't want it on it anymore. So it it fits him with like a small brim or no brim, which is okay. It's okay, it is fine. He loves it. Uh, he just probably won't be able to wear it for super long uh, with it rolled anyways. He can wear it for quite a while with it unrolled. It's just maybe not the most in looking. You know, I feel like the no brim hat is a little bit dated, but I don't think my child cares and I don't care. So here we are. I finished the hat. Uh, I used Knit Picks Stroll Tweed that I got out of somebody's D-stash. And then I held it double with Hobie's Alpaca Blaze, which is an alpaca wool and acrylic blend. Not my favorite. It is a little bit scratchy. I used three millimeter needles, which were way too small. Yeah, I think there's the whole project I wasn't thrilled about. Uh, the yarn was dark, which I don't really mind that much. Um, but it wasn't this, like, it's soft. But for some reason, that alpaca blaze running across my finger wasn't my favorite. Uh, and it's just the needle size. It just took so long. So yeah, there's that. I finished it. Yay. I also forgot to mention what I am wearing. I am wearing my match cardigan, which was a test knit I did for Kadri. The pattern is now out. It is a bulky weight cardigan. Uh, it is a more cropped. I think I cropped mine a little bit more than what is in the pattern, which I normally don't do. 
but with this cardigan I was kind of feeling it and yeah I think it turned out really well my sleeves unintentionally were cropped as well I need to lengthen those sleeves at some point this is not my favorite length it needs to either be down here or off I just don't like anything hitting my wrist in this area it just feels awkward to me of course I am wearing you know a watch and a bracelet but that doesn't bother me sleeves just like kind of moving the area bothers me so I've rolled them up and they don't bother me anymore so I also used my resin buttons on the front of this cardigan they are brown and I think they look really great I talked about it a bit more in my last video so if you want more information go check that out oh I probably should at least tell you what yarn I use lion brands uh join me in the fatigues color all right, let me show you what I've been working on. The first thing I have is a baby hat. So I think I had just started it last time. This, and I may have shared, I don't quite remember, but this was going to be a hat for my niece. However, I am actually redirecting. It's going to be a hat um for my friend's daughter she is going to be having a baby so when i found out i was like actually i'm gonna use this hat for her so i'm literally like maybe six rounds away from being done i probably could have finished this last night but honestly i wasn't feeling like knitting last night so i didn't force myself uh because i worked all day yesterday it was a very long work day uh like really late i worked really late last night uh, but anyways, this little hat should fit her, like, now from being a newborn. Like, you just put it on there and it should stay on there on up to being, like, six months plus, depending on how big or small the baby is. So, yeah, I should have this finished today, which is great because baby shower is tomorrow. So, yeah, this is still that Lion Brand Heartland. I, again, was going to have this hat for my niece, but... And I probably still could knit another hat with this yarn once I'm done with this one. But I think instead, for my niece, I'm going to knit her a little pair of baby socks instead. I think that could be nice and cozy as we come into winter. It'll be, yeah, keep her little toes and her head warm. So that's my plan once I'm done with this hat. The next thing I've been working on is another test knit. This is a test knit for Katie, a songbird handmade. She has this beautiful pattern. Yeah, hold on just a second. There's a beautiful pattern for a sock. So I figured I could put what I currently have on a sock blocker for you. So you can kind of see a little bit better what I'm trying to show you. It's not finished yet though. Don't get excited. Mm. So cute. Gotta make it look cute. Okay. So her pattern is the nest socks. It is going to have two different versions. No, four different versions in one pattern. It has DK weight and fingering weight. And then for each of those weights, there are two versions. There's top down and bottom up. So cuff down, toe up. For some reason that kind of hurt my brain. So there are four different options within the one pattern, which is fabulous. So I am knitting the DK weight version, cuff down. So far it is going beautifully. Let me show you. Oh. It is supposed to be this slouchy little sock. This is Hat Fisherman's Rib, which I think looks absolutely stunning. This is my first time ever knitting Half Fisherman's Rib. Let me tell you though, knitting it in the round is not my favorite thing in the world because you have one round with the uh, knitting and purling, and then the other round is just pearls. Don't enjoy that so much. But the fabric is gorgeous and I love it. So the the leg took a minute <laughs> to finish, uh, but I've tried it on and I like how it kind of slumps down to my ankle. It looks really great. Uh, I am not using DK weight yarn though. I am using worsted weight. This is Lion Brand's Wool Ease in the um, uh, Arrowwood color. And then I went down a needle size because I went up a weight and yarn and it my gauge is perfect it it's bang on so I'm feeling pretty good about that I am about two-thirds of the way through the foot uh, this blocker is a little small compared to my foot so pull that up a little bit 
But yeah, I, I'm hoping to be done with this in like by maybe tomorrow or something like that so I can start on the second sock. It does the test for this is amazingly long and she's only requiring one sock to be finished which is great thanks Katie uh, because some some tests I've done lately have been really quick and really short and they stress me out so I don't feel stressed about this test knit at all which is great uh, I should hopefully have both socks finished by the end of this test knit hopefully I would like to have both if not I'll at least have one for sure but I would like to have both because I want to take some really pretty pictures uh, but yeah I'm really enjoying this. I also, for the first time, have done a different heel. This is not a heel flap, turn, and gusset like I normally do. This is a shadow wrap heel. I loved knitting it. I've never knit one before, and I loved working the short rows. It was so much fun. I enjoyed doing the heel. I've never enjoyed doing heels before, but I enjoyed doing this one. Now, we will see how it fits. I have a really deep instep which is like this area here almost all of my socks even my store-bought ones pull really tight through this area I also have like I think part of it is because like I have a higher arch I don't know but that area is usually pretty snug on socks so when I do a heel flap turn and gusset I do a longer heel flap to accommodate for that so being as this is a short row heel I don't know how it's going to fit my like instep um I didn't make any modifications to it at all um because I wanted to of course follow the pattern to test it and stuff and I've never done a heel like this before so I didn't want to mess with it when I didn't know what I was messing with so once I'm done like I mean I've put it on my foot like this and it seems to fit okay but once the whole thing is finished we will see how it fits and how it wears if I like it and it's a little snug what I might try and do is just like add in like a couple of rows before or after I don't know I'm gonna do some research play around with it and kind of see what I think but I am knitting mine on 3.25 millimeter needles and I also have on here this beautiful stitch marker from Simply Serving look at how cute that is they're turkey tail mushrooms which I love for a great many reasons. One, they're cool looking. And two, like, of course there's no way of proving it, but thinking it could be helping my mom out with uh, her cancer, which is super cool. So anyways, <sighs> love the turkey tail. So yeah, I'm really loving these nest socks. The um, They're really going pretty quickly. I prefer knitting the leg when I'm distracted and out and not paying attention because of those pearl rounds but it went fairly quickly I didn't feel like it was double the amount of time I mean maybe because of the pearl round but I didn't feel like because you know you're knitting basically the same row kind of twice I didn't feel like it was taking long because of that I really enjoyed the fisherman's rib or half fisherman's rib I feel like I would like to knit something else out of like this stitch maybe a cardigan because then the opposite row would be all knitting I somebody did comment on my post about these on Instagram saying that they knit the seasons cardigan now my eyes kind of on that cardigan we will see what the future holds the next project I have to show you is my Christmas sweater which I am loving so very very much let me kind of get it not so messy and get my needles to stop clanking. Okay, here we are. Ta -da! I have finished the body on it. I finished the color work across the chest, which I think looks amazing. I hate color work, so very, very much. I try to like it. I love the look of it. I just don't enjoy knitting it. And it makes me a little bit sad just because I love the look of color work so much. But like some people will say like, oh, this color work just flew. Like it's so addicting. I get like one or two rows into color work and I'm like, can I be done? Can I please be done? I just don't like it. Do you like color work? Is there anything like if you don't like color work that has made it easier for you? I've tried two different methods before. I've tried the holding both yarns on one finger. I've tried the method of holding one in each, which that goes even slower for me because 
this hand doesn't want to work for me. <laughs> I've tried knitting English before and coordination of this hand, which is funny because I'm right-handed, like it just doesn't click. Doesn't click and that's okay. But yeah, Hello Work and Me, we're not the bestest of friends. Anyhow, I am not following any pattern for this. If you watch my like dream knitting video, I kind of shared that I wanted to like recreate this vintage Christmas pattern, but I didn't want it to be like drop shouldered and stuff. So I'm kind of modifying it and doing a raglan of that same color work. But I'm using Drops Lima. It is an alpaca and wool blend yarn. It's pretty soft. It's not the softest yarn in the world, but it also has not yet been blocked, so it will soften up more. I am a little worried I'm gonna run out of this white, which is scaring me a bit. I still need to do the color work on this arm, which I was gonna do some more short rows and a few more rows of just plain white but I'm afraid. I need to weigh this yarn, see how much I have left. Because again, I don't, I don't think I have enough of this yarn. So I may end up just needing to order one ball. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find something that will ship pretty quickly. Normally I, I've ordered this from Wool Warehouse, which has pretty quick shipping. So we'll see first if I can find something in the US that can ship faster. If not, I'll just order a ball from Wool Warehouse, which I don't wanna do, but I should probably order it now and then if I end up not needing it I can knit it into a hat or some mittens or something like it will get used but I just I want this to be done by next month so I should probably get on it and order it now so that way by the time I'm done with the one sleeve I can have the yarn and start on the second sleeve hopeful but yeah, I'm really happy with how this has turned out so far. I added a good amount of short rows in the back. You can see it's come up quite a bit there in the back and looks really nice. It fits beautifully. And then I also added a couple of short rows in the back at the bottom to bring the butt down just a little bit longer. It, this color is showing up much warmer on my screen than it is in person. It's a little bit cooler, but yeah. I think that's it to say so far. It's kind of hard when I'm not following a particular pattern to like comment on it and whatnot. I mean, I guess I can tell you what needle size I'm using. I'm using four and a half millimeter needles for this DK weight yarn. And I'm really liking the gauge. I used four millimeters for all of my ribbing and I'm doing two by two ribbing for all of it. Yeah. I will, once I'm done, put up somewhere into the internet all my notes on it. Maybe I'll put it on my website. I'll put like my cast on, what I uh, divided up for sleeves versus body, and then like the color work motif uh, maybe I'll put that onto there at some point. If so, it probably won't happen this year. It'll probably happen next year if I do get around to it. Just don't quote me on me. Don't hold me to that. I'm not even really going to show you, but I'll show you without showing you. I have my tonight top, which is still not done. I was hoping to be done by now and be wearing it. But I've just, those little finishings are so tedious and annoying. Uh... Now I like I see the appeal of the mini mock neck tank versus this one because that one's finishing like around the arms are done like as you're knitting it up. So yeah, maybe I'll find a way of like I don't know. I just I'm not done. All I have to say I'm not done. I did cast on another thing which I actually think I'm going to set aside for now, uh, right after casting it on, because we'll talk about that in a second. But I did cast on a home sweater v-neck by Kadri. This is going to be a Christmas gift for my sister, which I don't think she watches these. If, you did, if she does, well, she technically already knows what she's getting because she picked out the pattern and she picked out the color. So she knows what she's getting. Uh, so yeah, it's not the end of the world if she sees. 
but if you don't want to see it in the works, don't watch Amy. Uh, but here we are. Ta-da! It's a strip of stockinette flat. Woohoo! So yes, I am knitting the Home Sweater V-neck by Kadri. So the yarn I am using is Lion Brand Woolies. I am using the Colorway Natural Heather. Pretty sure it's the color. I did go up a needle size from the pattern. I am using a five and a half millimeter needle. Uh, I usually have to go up a needle size for Kadri's patterns, and I think she just knits looser than I do. I'm a pretty tight knitter. Not the tightest knitter in the world, but I do knit fairly tight. So, and that seems to be getting me gauge. I do not gauge swatch. I know. I hear you. I hear you. But I am very familiar with the way I knit, and it never fails. My gauge never match my swatch. Blah. My gauge swatch and my gauge that's in my completed item never match, ever. I usually end up knitting way tighter in a gauge swatch because it's a smaller circumference or it's small, it's just smaller. And even if I go a big, like I'm not taking the time to knit a big giant square swatch, like it's not going to happen. And if you even like a big four by four or a five by five, like it's still smaller than this and I just feel like when I'm gay swatching I'm also like just like tenser so I usually just measure as I go and if it's a hair bigger or a hair smaller I'm never super concerned about it currently I'm bang on I technically haven't blocked it yet but I know how this yarn works and how it blocks and it usually doesn't block stretch out a ton so I'm in it should be perfect. I don't recommend that though, unless you're super familiar with a certain person's type of patterns and how they knit up and also a certain type of yarn and just being super familiar with how you knit. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, don't just wing it. <laughs> don't do it. Again, I'm really familiar with all these different factors, so I'm not concerned about it at all. Anyways, random little tangent about gauge swatching. But anyways, I'm probably going to be setting this aside because in two weeks, about two weeks, we are going to be leaving on a trip to California. And I'm going to need some travel knitting because my... We plan on getting to the airport painfully early because it's going to be after a holiday and the SeaTac airport that we'll be going to has recently had some TSA things where some people have been in the TSA line for like two, three hours. So we're getting there really early because it's going to be around the holidays and we just want to make sure we get through that line and don't miss our flight because that would really suck. Because yeah, <laughs> that would just be horribly bad. Um, so we plan on getting there ridiculously early and sitting in the airport, which is fine. Uh, we will have our kids with us though, so that'll be a little less fun. We've arrived early at airports before and it's fine because I'll just sit in it and listen to books and he does his thing and we just chill. With kids it'll be a tad bit different, but I still plan on having a lot of knitting time during that point and then also on the plane and then in the evenings when we're in California. So my plan is there are two patterns I'm trying to decide between and one of them is the Calm Down Cardigan by Lily Kate Fritz and the yarn I would be using is the Wool Ease, not Wool Ease, I'm so tired. The Wool of the Andes in this chocolatey color. Uh, does it say the color on here? It does. It's chestnut. Uh, this is the sport weight uh, wool of the Andes, so I'm thinking that cardigan would be like a good idea because it'll be back and forth, so it'll be knitting and purling, but the pattern isn't like super straightforward. It's a saddle shoulder, which is a construction I've never done before, so I want to at least before we leave have the sh shoulders finished. I've looked at the pattern briefly and it's like a shoulder part of a thing, a shoulder part of a thing and part of a thing and then you join. 
I don't know. It's a little bit more work because again, just like getting all that purling done will be great, but I'd have to pay attention more which I don't know if I want to do, especially because we'll have the kids with us. I'm not sure if that'll be ideal. The other thing I'm considering is the Evermore, which by Kadri, which is a raglan V-neck, and it has lace down the arms. So that would require some paying attention in the arm section, but not as much, I feel like, as the other one. Or would it need more? I don't know, if I place stitch markers strategically around the lace, usually I will, like, my brain checks, pay attention. But I would knit that out of the Drops Saffron in this beautiful navy blue. And this pattern would also have purling because it's a raglan v-neck. There's, it's back and forth, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl. So that, and because it's a fingering weight pattern, like it would have a lot of knitting for me to do. I don't know which one, tell me. Let me know down in the comments which pattern you think I should cast on. I mean, I could cast on, I do have like a white cotton raglan that I'm wanting to cast on, but that's not following a pattern. So that I have to pay attention to the math and it's white or almost white. I just don't really want to take a white yarn traveling with me and end up getting something on it or it's just getting dirt, dirty, you know? This is darker, that's darker, so I don't have to worry about it getting gross. <laughs> so I'm trying to decide which one I should do. So let me know down in the comments which one you think would be a better option for traveling with children. Another future cast on plan is the Limonada. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce that but it is a crochet pattern. It was uh, featured in Pom Pom Magazine, which is sadly going out of business. Uh, so I actually ordered this magazine when I found out they were going out of business because I've kind of had my eye on this, like that particular issue. It's like just their crochet patterns because uh, there's also a cardigan in there that I've been kind of eyeballing. So I decided to buy it. And this is like an all over like lace motif pattern it's very summery but I have this paint box DK yarn in the pistachio color that I think would be really great for that pattern it's a DK weight pattern and I figure I could start it now and just like crochet motifs here and there and maybe hopefully have it done by summer so that's kind of the plan for this it's not a like immediate cast on and immediate need to get it finished it's kind of a as i go type thing it may even take me until next summer i don't know it depends it's a lot of uh circles that you have to make but we will see i'm waiting until i get the magazine in person because i want to work off the magazine and have the print in front of me before i start working on it but that will be at some point in the future and then i just have one new yarny thing to show you uh, one thing was that Lion Brand uh, yarn that I'm using for the socks. And then I also got this one, which is the color. What is this color? Every yarn has it in a different spot. This is the colorway Koi. Which again, is so much warmer on screen. I like what's on screen better than what I have in person. Uh, but yeah, I plan on making a hat out of this. I don't know who for. Uh, it may just be a family hat or maybe for me. I don't know. Can I pull off this color? I don't know. Or it may be for somebody else. I don't know. I just want to knit more hats. I like having a hat on the needles. So I got this. I think that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe to catch future videos. And yeah, we'll chat uh, with you next time. <laughs> Bye, have a great day.